Hey lovely people, welcome back to Gloria Home on Skills. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this wash liquid soap that has extra foaming power. So if you're a stay-at-home mom, or a student, or someone that wants to start up a business, this video is for you. So watch this video to the end so you won't skip any parts. Whatever occasion you are making, be it wedding, be it child dedication, naming ceremony, whatever you are doing, I can be your vendor for souvenir for this liquid soap. Just check the number in the screen and use it to reach me out. I will supply you whatever you need. So, so we have measurement like 250 ml, 500 ml, 1 liter, 5 liter and upwards. So just use the number that in the screen to reach me out. I can also teach you how to package this liquid soap and supply it to supermarket and make money with it. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching my video. You are highly welcome back. And if today is the first time of coming across my channel, thank you for tuning in and please encourage me by subscribing to my channel. It will make my channel grow. And also press the bell notification so that you stay updated when next I upload a new video. So guys, we are making 10 liters of liquid soap, so all the chemicals that I'm going to dissolve, I'm going to be taking the water from here to dissolve them. So I'm taking water to dissolve the first chemicals that we are going to start with. So guys, this is the water that I brought out that I'm going to use to dissolve chemical. So this is the first chemical we are going to start with. This is sodium lauryl sulfate known as SLS. So when you go to a chemical store and you just tell them SLS, they already know what it is so they will give it to you. So this is the measurement in the screen. So this chemical is very very hard to dissolve. So if you are in a haste to go somewhere or do other things, please wait till all the chemical dissolve before you can start please don't be in a haste to rush unless you don't want a perfect soap as i just showed you guys so i am stirring it so after stirring it i will going to set it aside and i'm going to start with another chemical so the second chemical to start with is caustic soda so um Please cover your hands as I just did in this video. Please, these chemicals are corrosive. They can affect your skin. Do not allow it to splash on your body because this chemical, as you see me stirring it, it is very, very hot. Yes, this caustic soda is very, very hot. It's as if the water is boiling. So please make sure it doesn't splash on your body and please cover your hands. Okay? Okay, guys, I just remember that... Um, this is um, very very small I need to transfer it to another rubber so that I can use this um, plastic rubber to make another bigger solution so make sure you are following I just pour in the caustic soda into this small rubber so that I can use this um, rubber to make uh, another solution so this is uh, soda ash this is why I transferred it into the small rubber because this soda ash is bigger. So I'm going to transfer it into the rubber and after that I'm going to give it a very good mix. This chemical is very very hard to dissolve. So I'm going to give it a very very good mix for it to be properly mixed. As you can see some of them are congealed so that's why I said you should not be in a haste to make this soap unless you don't want you don't want a good soup so guys the next chemical is texapone so I make this texapone myself if you've not watched the video please check the description of this video or you check the comment section you will see the link there okay so try and watch how I made the texapone so I'm taking 100 grams of texapone I've already measured it so that's why I'm just taking it from here so after that I'm going to pour in sulfonic acid the sulfonic acid is 500 ml that is 500 ml so I'm going to mix them together and set it aside so but if you don't want to make your text up one by yourself you can just buy it in the store chemical store at that so just buy it in the chemical store 
show them all the measurement i just used they will give it to you okay i just um I just did uh, the text upon myself so that things would be very cheaper for me and I will make it in a very big quantity. So that's why I'm doing it myself, okay? So just give this uh, text upon and sulfonic acid a good mix. After that, you can see the reaction. So give it a mix, a good mix and set it aside. So this is the bucket I'm going to use to make this soap. So this is nitro soap. It is also known as HEC. So this is a carbohydrate. This serves as a thickener in this soap. So if you don't stir this chemical properly, you are going to see the formation of lumps in your soap. So try as much as possible to stir it properly the way i'm doing it please stir it okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is I'm, i just want to pour in some water i think this water is so small i'm going to be adding water bit by bit so let me just add in water for now so i can start with other things So give it a properly mix and pour in your caustic soda into it. So I want to show you guys something. So nitro soda is a carbohydrate which serves as a thickener and caustic soda is a hot solution. So what I mean by a hot solution is when you are making your uh, caustic soda, when you are dissolving it, you find out that you can't even touch the body because it will be very very hot around that surface. So when you pour in your caustic soda in nitro soap, which is carbohydrate, as I just mentioned, it will thicken up. It will be as if you are making pap. So this is the reaction we are getting now. So I'm going to show you guys for you to see. You can see it is getting thicker. I just noticed that the turning stick I'm using is small so I'm, I introduced this one so I'm adding in the soda ash right now so after adding it I'm going to give it a very good mix for it to be properly combined please try and stir your, uh, your soap properly okay So right now I'll be introducing the the sulfonic acid and texapone I just mixed. So I'm going to mix this properly. Please, that's why I, I brought out the, the, the other stick so I can mix it very well because you are going to see a lot of foam in this soup. So if you are that type of person that does not want excess foaming in your soup, this video is not for you. Okay, so just try and give it a good mix because you are going to see foam in this soup. So I told you guys that when you are patient, your soup will come out nicely. So this is the foam I told you about. The soap, if you stir it properly, you'll be glad. So this is um, the sodium lorisulfate, the SAS we dissolved. So I'm introducing it right now into the soap bucket. So 
I'm pouring in water into this um, rubber so I can mix my XTPP. So after that, just give it a good mix and pour it into the soap pockets. So I'm going to put in the STPP I dissolved into the soap bucket. So the next chemical is preservative. So I'm using two tablespoons of preservative this is for my lint so I'm using this plastic rubber spoon so I can trash it I can't be using normal spoon that I use in eating to do this okay so that's why I'm using this you can use um, anything you want to measure it just use two tablespoons so this is my color um, I this color it has a uh, oil and uh, water this in color so this one is the water color I told them to mix it for me because I don't understand what they gave me they, it was congeed so I told them to mix it for me so I can be very sure before I can take it so that's why it is in rubber it's, if not it will be in powder from then you mix it with water and add so I'm adding in my water and my color so this is the yellow color um, so I'm going to introduce my fragrance now um, you know when you add in some color I'm going to see a reaction all the foaming will go down so if um, if you don't know about it so I'm just teaching you guys now so when you add in your color you will find out that all the foaming will go off so the next day I left it for 24 hours this is my soap so I'm I think you uh, you guys are not seeing it properly here so I'm going to bring in a white rubber so I can show you guys how it looks like so this is my soap this is how it looks like it is very very thick and foamy i'm going to test it here for you guys to see so look at my soap so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and i'm going to teach you guys how to make a lot of things yes my number is in the screen so if you want to learn more about this liquid soap and everything you want to start up a business with it you want to make money please hit that subscribe button and you can reach me with this number in the screen yeah just chat me with it so right now it is time to test this soap in water so so this is the water that I'm going to use to test it. So I'm just trying to put a small quantity of liquid soap in this water so I can use it to test the foam. You can use this to wash your plates, wash whatever you want to wash like clothes and all that. So this is a multi-purpose liquid soap. So please give this video a huge thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification so that you will stay updated when next I upload a new video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!